Hey all, this is Oracle Fusion Hub's ADF Tutorials and uh, before I start with a new topic, I'd like to uh, discuss about what we have done so far so that uh, we'll, we'll be uh, able to proceed further. And uh, so far we have created this particular page where we have this departments, department details and we have the um, email where we can click on the find details so that we can see the first name and last name and uh, then we have a more info section where we have created a pie chart and then we have the corresponding uh, the detailed uh, list so today what i'm trying to create is i'm trying to uh, create something something similar to a to an lov the list of values so for that it's more or less like when i when i click on the the job ID I should be getting a look I mean uh, an LOV in the it's the same way that I'm doing it so open J developer and then go to the models and see what we have we have the departments model we have the employees model we have the jobs model that's it but right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to show you I mean show the user the department view and I'm going to add I mean I'm going to have a an LOV on this location ID and uh, this LOV should be dependent on the country for for which uh, we'd be querying the result and uh, for that what I'm trying to do is I'm, I'm going to create uh, an entity object and the name of the entity object would be the locations and it would be a table and the locations table just click on next we want everything just click on finish now we have the locations entity object in the same way I would create an entity object for countries and same way I would query it I would give countries and just, I just click on finish because I don't and now I need a view object for locations and uh, view object and why am, why am I creating a view object for locations is because this particular view object can be used in the list of values that I'm going to create so um, my view object name would be locations view and it would be based on an entity object and that would be the locations and I would be having all the fields and that's it let me finish it off now here I am going to save all these things and I'm going to departments view object before that this locations view object I, I have to make it parameterized because I want to query it for with the country ID so so what I would be doing here is I would go to this query mode I would add a view criteria here I would add an item and here the item would be country ID and it would be equal to and we have a bind variable we'll create a bind variable for that and the name of the bind variable would be country ID bind and click OK and click OK so and 
and here so here everything looks perfect and I'll be saving it and then go to the departments and we are we are going to create an LOV for the location ID and to do that go to the departments view and the location ID for that location ID click on the list of values and here for the list data source we would be using the locations view just click here and then click OK and and for this locations view we are going to edit this to use the view criteria the locations view criteria and the values would be we are going to pass country ID to it click on OK and click on OK now the list attribute would be the location ID this would be passing back to the list of values and here in the UI section I would be showing the city as well as the location ID so uh, we don't want to include this and then just click OK and now um, we are having a departments view XML and now I'm just closing down all these things because they're not needed as of now I need to add this to the page so go to your view controller click on the M department page and drag this section a little bow go to this more info section and here I'm going to add a separator so that I can insert the department's data control just go to this and now I have this department's view before that I would like to see if I have missed something in the department's view in the attributes um, I have only department ID department name manager ID and location ID but I'm going to create a few more attributes one would be I have only departments so so this would be add item attribute here I'm not I'm not seeing other entity objects so that means I need to add them in the entity object I have only departments here so I'm going to add countries I'm going to add the locations and now if I come to attributes here and if I click attribute section I would be seeing the country ID and location ID so let us see like in the departments we have the location ID here so so in the locations what we would be what we would need is a country ID so just go on the country ID and double click it so here the country ID and the location ID we have an, a mapping here at the same time in the same way go to these countries and what we need is a country name just double click it and you would see the country ID associated with this 
so now click OK so now we are having um, this department view and uh, so now to save this all and now go to this M departments and drag and drop this departments view as an area for parameter and what we need are only few things we don't need this um, country ID we don't need that location ID but we need the country name so let us keep that and we don't need the country ID as well and I'm going to add an uh, nav add navigation buttons here and this would be my page save it and magic run it here here is the form and here if you see the location ID we have a list of values and uh, if you want to see exactly the differences we can see the location ID gets changed with respect to the country name and let us quickly see what we have done so far so we we wanted to add a list of values to the location ID and uh, that should be the based on the country name so for that we have to create this departments view object and uh, departments view object has been created and here in the departments view object we have linked two more entity objects that is the countries and locations and for this location id we have added the list of values and uh, the, for to add the list of values we need the list data source so for that we have created a locations view and uh, the locations view is through i mean it, it is being queried through a bind variable and uh, that would be based on the attribute the country code it will be equal to the bind variable this is how i we have made the view locations view a parameterized view object and now coming back to the department's view object and uh, the list attribute that i am list we, we are listing is the, the location id this is the default one and the ui hints would be the city and as well as the location id so so this is how we achieved this functionality thank you very much for listening thank you